I'm gonna show you how this AI SEO agent works. Click on create optimizer, name it whatever you want, add your site URL, select the language and then hit create. Now, what this will do in the next few seconds is analyze your whole site. As you see here, it's analyzing pages. At the moment it's zero, but as the time goes on, it will analyze more and more pages. Now, on top of that, after it does the analyzing, right, you'll notice here on this left-hand sidebar, we have page titles, meta descriptions, meta keywords, canonical URLs, and image alt text. And soon we'll have schema markup, site speed, links, and a bunch more stuff. And what this means, right, is that this AI agent is going through your site and then telling you what it needs fixing. So this will automate all your technical SEO for you. Now, not only does it tell you what you need to fix, but it gives you the why. For example, here in page titles, we have our page for slash Shopify. And if I go here, we do have a page that your URL is Shopify, which is our Shopify integration page. Doesn't really matter here. And our current meta title is Shopify AI SEO writer, try free journalist, right? Which is weird, right? And the AI agent suggests to change it to AI powered Shopify SEO writer, free trial, boost your e-commerce. And then it tells us why. So it isn't just some random thing telling you, hey, listen, change this, right? We put this here specifically, the uh, why, to let you know why we think as the AI we've built that you should change your page title to this, right? In this case, right, it tells us, hey, listen, this title is optimized to include primary keywords like AI powered, Shopify, and SEO writer, which are likely search terms for users looking for AI writing tools, specifically, specifically for Shopify, excuse me. It also emphasizes the free trial, which again, also, oh, where did it go? Also emphasizes the free trial, which can attract clicks, which if you don't know this, right, when we're looking for, for example, AI writer, when you're searching for stuff on Google, right, it's not just about the, the SEO optimization of the meta title and meta description. It's how enticing it is to click. So you have to write a meta description that's both optimized for SEO, right, SEO, and clicks, okay? Again, you could be ranking third, right, but this meta title, so what's written here, could be more enticing than a guy ranking second. Hopefully this makes sense. So you gotta optimize both for, um, meta, for, for SEO, right, as well as uh, clicks. Here's a perfect example. If I go here, for example, and search in for Dallas Plumber, right, here's an example of how schema is used for this. So if I just scroll down right here, you'll see that this guy right here, this guy has little stars, and this is done through schema markup. And even if this guy were to be ranking second or third, right, below this one, well, it's much more enticing to click on this result, right? Not only because it occupies more pixels, right, but because my eyes are mostly drawn to this. And the same thing, the same principle applies to meta titles and descriptions, okay? And by the way, as of now, this doesn't have schema markup, but it will soon in the future. Now, what you do is if you wanna apply these changes, right, the ones that I recommend, just select them all, select the ones you want, and then hit apply. And this will be automatically applied to your site. So the bots will go through your site and change things. Now, just gonna install like a simple snippet of code, which is super simple, takes like two, two seconds to install, and then that's done. Now you can archive the ones you don't wanna do, right? And then you can also have this to be fully automated. So it's on autopilot every day, every week, analyzing your site and making changes according to what the competition is doing. So your site is moving, right? It's not a static thing. It's a wave moving and optimizing your site according to what's happening in the industry, what's happening in the, in the competitor landscape and optimizing your site to always be above the competition. Now, again, we do this for page titles, meta descriptions. Again, we give you, again, not just the, oh, listen, listen, look at this, right? We have a bunch of pages, apparently, I didn't even know this, with no meta description, which is a very bad SEO practice. And I should know, right, me having an SEO software, right, I should not be missing this stuff. I mean, it's natural, right? We, there's just so much going on that we just miss this stuff. And so for this page, there's not even a meta description. And I think this is a page where we have like this full on course about SEO, yeah. Which, I mean, should have something at least, right? And we don't. And so the AI suggests to change it to join our AI SEO course to learn how to leverage AI tools for effective content creation, ranking improvement, and automated SEO strategies. Get started today. I mean, it's pretty good, right? And it tells you the why, right? This meta description clearly outlines the benefits of the course using Qdal, et cetera. Again, the whole point of this and the reason, the specific reason why we added this is because I don't like to just tell you, hey, listen, do this. I don't like to just rely on AI, right? If I'm doing that, I wanna know why he's doing what he's doing. Why is he recommending that I put this and not something else? Why is he recommending that I change the meta keywords? Why is he doing it? I think it's very important that we understand the reason behind stuff. Also, this is for meta keywords, so if I go here, right, for example, on these pages, right, that are relevant for AI SEO, SEO course, none of these keywords are found on the page. 
So it tells me why. Again, these keywords are relevant to the page content and the, the search, right? They, they reflect the way what potential users might be searching for, which makes perfect sense, right? So we want to make this page relevant for what the potential users are searching for. So it makes perfect sense that we add these keywords to the page. And again, we don't. So if I just go here and click apply, the AI will add these keywords to the page. We'll sprinkle them in to the page, right? Uh, canonical URL is a big one. A lot of people uh, make, make these mistakes. So you could basically set, set up canonical URLs to prevent duplicate content issues and help search engines understand the preferred version of your pages. Because oftentimes a lot of people have, um, essentially boiling it down, multiple pages that say the same thing. And then Google gets confused and you might, might be prioritizing one page when in reality you wanted to prioritize the other page. And so this helps with that. Also image alt text, I'm sure if you just try it out, you should have a, you will have a bunch of images without alt text. I mean, we have a bunch of them which we shouldn't, right? And this just adds the alt text, right? Again, Alfonso here, my co-founder, right? The AI knows based on his image, based on his face, that this guy is Alfonso Jones, of course, based on the uh, image um, uh, name, right? Alfonso, whatever, right? Smiling, and knows it's smiling because listen, he is smiling. So the AI reads through the images. So again, you can just select the ones you want and then hit apply and the AI will automatically go onto, the, onto your site's backend and apply the image alt text. And this is very important, right? Again, we've talked about SEO before on this channel and a lot extensively, right? And all these little factors, like you might think that, oh, but just changing the alt text, just changing the matter, this won't make any difference. Well, it does, right? All these little factors will add up, right? And if you're ranking for competitive niches, right? All these little things like image alt text, canonical URLs, sprinkling, sprinkling of your keywords, the meta descriptions, meta titles, all of these will add, add up, right? And if you're in very competitive issues, right, this small stuff can have a big, big impact. And again, as of now, we only have these five things. In a week from now, we're gonna have a schema and a bunch more stuff. So give it a go, right? There's no reason why you should be doing all this manually, right? Again, first, because it would take you a lot of time to find that this stuff is even uh, missing. And then, okay, now that you found that's missing, well, then you gotta, like, okay, let me see what I'm gonna add as an alt text to this image. Then you gotta write it down, click apply on your CMS, add it, click update. It just takes so much time. With this, right, once you click apply right here, right, the robot will go to your site and magically update all this stuff, whether that's image alt text, canal URLs, sprinkling of keywords on, on, on sprinkling in, excuse me, of keywords on your page, or changing up your meta tiles and meta descriptions. For example, I'll give you another example. Let's just go here to agency. So we have a page dedicated to um, Agencies, because our product is somewhat tailored to agencies, right? The, the ISU writer that delivers client-ready content, right? We have a bunch of stuff, a couple of uh, case studies, a couple of how it works, etc. cetera, blah, blah. And now, right, I think this is decent enough, right? But I want to listen to the AI's recommendation. Even though I can just archive it, if I don't agree with it, I want to listen to it. So it's telling me that I should sprinkle in the following keywords. AI content solutions, SEO content creation, agency tools, agency content tools, automated writing, AI SEO editor, content marketing for agencies, journalists, I branded one. Then tells me the why. These keywords are relevant to the page content and target audience. They encompass various aspects of the services offered, improving the chances of ranking specific keywords related to the agency's content. Okay, makes sense, right? And again, it's not just pulling this out of its imagination. It's reading through all the whole page. It's going to the home page and figuring out, okay, what's journalist AI about? It's going to the solution. It's going to all these pages, reading and understanding the brain to give you this solution. So none of this is random. And again, if I want to agree with this, I just click here and hit apply. And that, that's that. And then the ad will be sprinkling in these keywords in my content, just like that, automatically. Now, as you see here, it only analyzed 20 pages. Um, we've now just capped it at 20, just for now, but if you need more, just let us know. We'll probably like make this unlimited some, uh, in, in, in the near future. And um, then we'll give you actual live organic traffic from optimized pages. So we'll, we'll, we have data on how these changes make your site react in the SERPs. And we can actually measure how many new visitors came in based off of these optimizations. It's a very complex thing how we do it, which I won't go over now, but we'll give you literally or to a certain confidence level how many visitors we were able to get you based off of these optimizations. And a lot of people miss and neglect technical SEO because it's boring, it takes a ton of work, but it's, it's very important, right? As you know, we talk about this a lot here. SEO has three main pillars. Yeah, on-page SEO, right? We have off-page SEO, and we have technical SEO. Okay. Now, on-page, of course, is everything that happens on the site, the way, the how you write your content, what you write, if your images, if you have images there, essentially the content on your site. This is basically it. Off-page is what happens off the site, which is basically link building, building backlinks, which a lot of people know about this and know that this is very important and know how important links are, but not a lot of them build links, which is weird. And I've talked about this before. And again, technical SEO is like the boring stuff. Meta titles, meta descriptions, schema markup, site speed. 
which is very important, right? You can have the best on-page SEO, the best off-page SEO. You're, you'll be ranking like, let's, let's say you're ranking first, but then people click on your site and it's super slow. Well, what's gonna happen is that people are just gonna click off and then click the second result, right? And if they do this enough times, well, eventually they're gonna drop down, right? Same thing for um, your meta title and meta description, right? You could be ranking first, but if your meta title isn't enticing enough for a certain search, or as enticing as the one the guy ranking second, or rel as relevant enough for a certain search, well, people just click the second guy, right? And eventually it'll drop off. And so it's super important. And we've built this AI agent to help you out. And again, we give you the why, which I think it's the most important thing, is not just to accept the AI answers or just do all S, right? Just to understand why it's doing what it's doing. Because if you're doing SEO as a marketing strategy, I feel like it's super important that you understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. So that's why we added the why here. And so again, that's it. Give it a go, try it out, go here and add your site. Just give it a name of your project, your site URL. Select the language, of course, if you have some international based sites, um, make sure you select the, the appropriate language right here. And yeah, just give it a go. I'll, I'll promise you'll be super surprised with what this does. And again, we only do this for now, but in a week's time, we'll do a lot more. Again, give it a go. It's our AI agent tailored for SEO, which I think is gonna be where a lot of people and a lot of agencies and a lot of local businesses will find the edge over the competition because most people aren't going this deep into their technical SEO, right? Most people are not. And even myself, right? I, I'm, I'm a culprit of this. Look at this. I don't even have alt text on all these images. I'm missing meta descriptions on a bunch of pages, right? I mean, it's all over the place because again, there's just so much to focus on. So if you, so if you can have like an AI agent that's tailored for SEO that knows about your brand, knows its mannerisms, know what's, knows what services you offer, what you do, what you don't do, and then apply, and then, excuse me, and then recommend stuff based on all that, and then apply it and then tell you the why, well, well, why wouldn't you do that, right? So give it a go, try it out, I'll leave a link down in the description. And if you want a coupon code, well, just go here, hit up support and say, hey, listen, I came from this video, I want a coupon code, and I guys will hook you up with a coupon code. Take care, give it a go, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.